Are you looking to give that first kiss and don't know how? In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to paint mugs at home while giving you some Valentine gift ideas. For the best creative DIY craft content, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. I have a Facebook page that is dedicated to DIY crafts that you're able to join. Now it's your turn. These DIY hand painted mugs are quick and easy and great for beginners. You will also learn from today's tutorial how to customize mugs and personalize mugs for that special someone in your life. These mugs can be made out of ceramic or porcelain clay. Learning how to properly paint mugs with oil based sharpies or any other type of paint is very important for your Valentine's Day gift idea. These DIY Sharpie painted decorative mugs for Valentine's Day can be decorated also with polymer clay as I will show you. What I want to show you that I do is once I make my lips, I actually take it off. Just let it dry a little bit because I want to put some glue inside and I also want to clean my glass and start fresh. Then I'm going to attach it to the glass and let it dry. Now when you're going to place your lips, there's a couple things that you have to think about. How do you hold your cup? Like do you hold it this way and drink this way or are you going to be holding it this way because that really matters. I generally hold my cup here and I want my lips over on this portion. All I'm going to do is hold it the way I would normally hold it to drink it and then test it. You want to put glue inside here so that this sticks to your cup. I used Mod Podge so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue inside this portion here because I want it to stick. And you're just going to gently push. You're just going to make sure that it fits well. You're going to put glue in the back. You can put tape on it. Let it sit so that it secures it first. And then I'm going to bake mine. This one here I dried and it's fine, but I'm still going to bake it. And then this one I'm going to just bake completely. When you're making these, remember that you, you're going to put coffee or tea in here, depending on what you drink. You want to make sure that this portion here is up high enough. It's not going to touch your liquid. Now a tip before you put this on, let it dry. Let the Mod Podge dry just a little bit so that it has a little bit of tack to it. There are other glues that you can use. I'm gonna put it down like that. Hold it for a bit. Make sure you look at your lips before it dries so that everything is fine. Right now when it's still soft make sure you make any changes so that then you don't have to come back and make changes later on. It's cute. Just wanted to see like have a little bit of a variation with it and then the slip I tried making it the exact same size. Is it called Mod Podge? Sorry. Mod. Comment down below if for this Valentine's Day you plan on creating a kissable mug. Thing that I did where I got the idea from. So I made this for my daughter and this is out of a napkin and so I put the napkin on top and then put the clay over top and then put another napkin on and I use the Mod Pod over top of it and we hand wash it, we don't dish wash it and it's fine.
If you want to further customize these mugs and make them more personal, you, all you have to do is add the person's name or something that that person likes that's special to them at this point. Making sure you know whether the person is left-handed or right-handed is also vitally important for the customization or personalization of your mugs. try my hand at using just plain old acrylic paint. I want to see what will happen. Remember this is not going in the dishwasher. I just want to see if I'm able to hand wash it. So I'm going to make my kiss white. And remember the kiss is 3D. I'm going to clean it up. I just wanted to kind of show you guys. If I were to do it again, I think what I would do is I would make my letter, dry them, and then paint them. So here you go. That's it. And then I actually took a scratch to this. I scratched it so it looks like if the heart has a little crack in it. And then I'm going to put Maj Posh over it. And that's it. These are done. They're cute. With this one, I just left it like that. I didn't want too much on there. Now that you know how to make a hand-painted mug DIY for Valentine's Day, I have written a designing platforms guideline to help you take all the creativity out of your mind and put them on a platform. Download the guide in the link in the description box. Also, if you want to join a community of creative minds just like yourself, I do have my Facebook page. It's easy for you to join. Click the link in the description box. Check out these videos next on Bulletin Journal Dream Log and also my other video, Bulletin Journal for Writers. And my upcoming video on how to make a hand painted watercolor mug. If you like this video, hit the like button and also share it with your family and friends.